One of the biggest pain points in all of digital marketing, especially for SaaS marketers, is the attribution problem. And one of the ways that a lot of marketers try to work around this problem is something that's called incrementality testing. It's also referred to as lift testing or holdout testing. This, these are terms that Facebook uses. And we're currently running one of these tests right now with one of our clients. And what we're doing is we're testing the incremental impact or lift of Facebook advertising because there is a theory that we might be overspending on Facebook and that we might be able to reduce significantly our spend on Facebook without hurting the conversions that are reported here. So I want to warn all of you, I think this is a great idea in general to run these type of incrementality tests, but I want to warn everybody to also be on the lookout of unintended consequences. And what I mean is unintended consequences across the firewall. This is the firewall of data. And you know that nothing goes across this way and nothing goes across this way. Facebook data is in a walled garden over here. Google YouTube data is in a walled garden over here. And they try a lot to help you optimize attribution here. And Google tries to help you optimize attribution over here. But crossing that firewall is next to impossible. So you have to be on the lookout for unintended consequences across the firewall. What we are already seeing is that when we reduce the investment in Facebook, what are we seeing? We're seeing a big reduction in branded searches over here. We're also seeing a reduction in non-branded searches. And what this is doing is it's not only bringing down the conversions as reported here in Facebook, but we see a very strong correlation to a reduction in branded search and non-branded search, but primarily branded search. So what this is really telling us is Facebook is extremely important in creating awareness and generating initial demand. So people see the ad here. A lot of times they don't even click, but it's a view through impression. They get interested in the product and then they go over here and they search for it. And now this is happening much less because we're reducing the investment on Facebook. So on this side of the firewall, it looks like, yes, we can cut down on the spend and still capture a lot of the conversions here, but we're paying a price over here. So when you all are organizing these incrementality tests or these lift tests, I think you can learn a whole lot, but be sure to be prepared for these unintended consequences and the relationship between these two big channels across this firewall. Hope that was helpful. Thanks.